What's going on folks? Devin Banks here back in the bass basement with another one. And this one right here is all about that shallow crankbait. Yes, the square bill. We're going to talk about my setup, when and where and how I like to fish it so you can get bit this spring. It's all coming up. for tuning in don't forget hit that subscribe button it helps out a lot now let's talk about my square bill setup first let's talk about the rod this right here is the Abel Garcia winch bait casting rod seven foot medium heavy has a great parabolic bend why do I like this rod great accurate cast you can make around wood cover and structure lay down logs stumps Docks, you can make real good accurate casts with your square bill crankbait. Also, why I like this rod, when a fish strikes it, four or five plus pound fish, this rod takes that load of that hit, which allows that fish to inhale that bait so you can get a real good hookup so you can get them in the boat. That's why I like this rod. Let's talk about the line. 15 pound, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon. I like this line for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it allows my square bill that I cast out to run to its maximum depth. Okay, so as that bait is deflecting off cover, it's going to allow that bait to hunt and do what it needs to do. So I like that 15 pound, 100% fluorocarbon. Very confident in that. Also, that 15 pound uh, line, when a big fish strikes it, you get a lot of play. You're able to fight that fish, tire them out, and get them in that boat. Very confident in that 15-pound uh, fluorocarbon by Berkeley. Let's talk about the reel. The reel is the 6-7-1 Revo STX. Why 6-7-1? With 6-7-1, if I need to speed the bait up, I can. If I need to slow it down, I can. So I get a lot of control with that 6-7-1. 10 plus 1 ball bearings with the Revo STX, which is super, super smooth, and this reel gives me control. This whole setup right here is what does it for me. Now, when it comes to the actual square bill, it's a lot on the market. It's a lot of good ones on the market. I like the Square Bull by Berkeley, and the size 5.5. I like 5.5 because it's 2 and 3 eighths long, it's 3 eighths in weight. Comes in a variety of colors, and I believe I can throw that square bill all over the country and get bit. That's me. I keep it simple, and I get a variety of colors to match the hatch, and I stay with that size. They have three different sizes, but I like the 5.5. Two three-eighths long, three-eighths in weight, and it gets the job done for me. Where do I like to throw a square bill? We're talking about spring right now. So fish are moving up from their winter haunts and they're pre-spawn to spawn. So they're in that phase and they're coming up on points. They're coming up on secondary points. They're coming up in coals. They're coming up in pockets. They're coming up in flats. And you're looking for areas where they're going to be lurking and roaming and just cruising. What are those areas? You're looking at stumps, logs docks, laydowns, wood cover, shallow grass, riprap, boulders, rock piles. You're looking for those areas to cast a square bill to and deflect that bait off to get a reaction strike. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for a reaction strike. You want to hit something with your square bill crankbait. That's exactly what you want to do. How do you want to throw or cast out your square bill? Well, I got a couple scenarios. Like I said, where you want to throw it around any type of structure, any type of cover, and you want it to deflect it. That is largemouth thinking for me. For me, that's largemouth thinking. Now, when it comes to smallmouth, because smallmouth will hit a square bill and hit it hard and vicious. You can catch them on a regular fan cast and just Reeling it back in. You can do that. 
that start and stop, that erratic action, that's what's going to get them small mouth going. Okay? And we're still thinking spring. If they're shallow, they're looking to eat, and you're probably coming across beds, you're probably coming across some pre-spawn, they're feeding, they're shallow, that's what they want to do. The metabolism is starting to rise up, water temperature is getting up. You know, like I said, uh, you're looking at water temperature, mid to upper 50s, somewhere within there. They're thinking about spawning, or maybe they are spawning, or they're, you got some late pre-spawners, who knows. But you want a start and stop retrieve, something erratic that makes that bait look like it's injured. We're talking about predatory fish. And they are going to hunt and go after something that looks injured. And that's exactly what you want to make your square bill crankbait look. Look like it's injured. So that erratic action, that start and stop retrieve, that fast to slow, that slow to fast, really gets those fish inquisitive, have them looking, searching, and they're going to strike it. So that is that situation right there. So we covered where, we covered how, and uh, when. Like I said, early spring is when you want to throw this bait and this setup. Be confident in it. If you are a power fisherman, that is a shallow guy, shallow power fisherman, if you want to say. If that's you, and you like chucking and winding, making a lot of casts around structure, around cover, this is going to be a technique that's going to help you out this spring, no doubt about it. It should be on your deck um, because you're going to be able to capitalize on that bite. You're going to be able to catch fish and have fun doing it if you like that hit, if you like that strike. All right. So that's my setup, clean and clear right there. That's my how, when, and where. This has been a system that's worked for me for a couple years. And it's always tweaked, right? You always uh, figure out something and learn something. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm doing this channel, to help you and teach you. So you can sort of take my knowledge and tweak it and learn it. And that's what I want you to do. Make sure you get, leave a comment and let me know how this works out for you. Because this literally is a setup that I have on my deck all year, but especially in the springtime, because I love to cover water. I love to make casts. I love that hit. And it just makes me a better angler. So that's it right there, folks. That's my setup. That's my how, when, and where when it comes to square bill cranking. What's your favorite square bill? I want to know. Where do you throw a square bill? And how does it work for you? What's your setup? Let me know. Put it in the comments section below. I want your feedback. How's this video working out for you? Let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Put a comment in there. I'll get back to you. I'll make a video about it. I'll touch base with you and let you know if I can get an answer to you. I always like to communicate and talk to you guys. But I'm telling you right now, this setup works for me. So, from the Bass Basement, I'm Devin Banks. And don't forget, live life to fish.